Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we'll be looking at how hackers are able to change user agent information that are submitted into a web application system. So over here, we are actually back to the Mutila Day, right, which is a vulnerable web application system for us to perform our penetration testing on. So all we got to do is to go under Open Web Application Security Project 2017. And we can go under A1 Injection Other, and you can go over into HTML injection and we can look at browser info. So once you click onto browser info, all right, it will actually have all these details about where you're coming from, where are the referral, all right, the user agent string, the IP address, the remote client port number. And as I scroll down further, we can actually look at the browser name. Okay. We have the code name, the versions, all these details has been captured by the browser. All right, so the browser has those data, which is then sent over into the web application server. So is there any way for us to actually change this kind of details and data as we submit information into the web application system? So all we got to do is go to the top right corner and we can go ahead and click onto preferences, all right, and scroll all the way down and click under network settings, settings, all right, use a manual proxy configuration. So in this case, we're 127.0.0.1 and we're port 8080. Click OK on that. And all I got to do now is just go ahead and enter Burp Suite. All right, so we're going to start a Burp Suite to actually help us intercept the connection. Okay, so once we intercept the connection, we can see all those details and data that are actually sent from the browser all the way to the web application system. And after which, all right, once we can interject that request, or post or whichever the case is, will be then be able to make changes to the data, make changes to those information. All right. So let's go ahead and select temporary project. Click next. All right. Start burp. So we're starting the project and we can go ahead and click on the proxy. All right. And ensure the intercept is on. And I can go back into Firefox. And of course, I can go back and scroll all the way back to the top. OWASP 2017, A1 injection other. All right, HTML injection and click onto browser info. Okay, so we got the injection right here. So over here, I can send this information over to say intruder or repeater. So I'm going to send it over to repeater. All right, and we can see all those details here. So what I'm going to do next is to use magnifier so it's easier for you to see. All right, so here we have a get request. Okay, so this is HTTP slash 1.1. And we have the host and here we have the IP address, all right, of 133. So this is the target IP address that we're sending over. And right here, you can see the user agent details. So we can easily change this. So for example, I can change this to Mozilla slash 4.0, all right. And we can change it from X11 to something else. We can change from Linux to Windows, all right, and so on. So we can easily change all these details right here. And of course, this is the SAP, all right, the English, all right, accept language. So I can change this to say ENSG, all right. So that can be another way of actually sending information into the web application server. So we are amending, we're changing all these values. And we have the referral, all right. So I can even change this referral to say coming in from the uh, another website completely. So I can change it to say loyliangyang.com, all right. So I can easily change that. You know, we have connection, we have cookie, session information. So once I have all these details, I can go ahead and click send. All right. And of course, this will send it over to a response here. So on the proxy, I can copy all these different details and I can go back to proxy. All right. And again, I can change these details here. All right. I can change Firefox to four. Okay. I can change the referral to say another value. And I can change this to say HTTP. All right loyliangyang.com. All right. So I have all these different details. Then I can click, all right, forward and I can go back to Firefox and right here. Okay. We can see the changes, the changes to the user agent string as well as to the referral. So again, very quickly, hackers can easily change all these details and data, especially when they manage to hack into a device and all they have the username and password of the device of that user. And what they're going to do is they're going to use similar, all right, or exactly the same values of how the hacker or how the user actually access in the website and then use those values like user agent referral to ensure that they're able to access certain components of the web application system 
without triggering any kind of alerts. So you can think of it, for example, if a user always logs in to your website, all right, using a particular type of browser, and they're logging in, coming in directly from a particular type of operating system, say, for example, a Windows computer, and suddenly they're logging into your site using Linux, and suddenly they're changing the referral from from the original, say, banking site into a hacker's website. So immediately all those details will be flagged out and this could increase the risk scoring of those users. So what the hackers will do is that they will want to ensure that they're using the same value that the users are using while they're assessing into the system. So that will be their goal, all right, to not cause any alerts from the security monitoring systems of those websites, of those mobile applications as well. So they want to use and ensure that they're using the same value, all right, as a original user would be using, especially when it's an account takeover attack. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.